as you can see that snow it's pretty much all gone again just a little bit of slush and icy stuff around the ground it's up like plus two here today it's nice because the hands hold up better for longer periods of time when it's warm like this now if you've been following recent vids you know that my latest work has been leather work and we're getting close to the end of those custom orders take a look at my drawer here now looking pretty empty except for a couple little things a couple sheath things I have to tie up and I'll take you guys through that here now today so first off we have a kydex molded sheath here for this beauty little custom it's not little it's definitely a full size uh, full size blade there lots of room on that handle it's a beautiful knife it's got some natural canvas micarta I believe for the scales but what we have to do is this will slip in here we have to do a little bit of rounding on the the back of the choil on the knife there just so the knife comes easily back out of the sheath but also I have to put a leather belt strap on the back so what I'm going to do is this leather piece is going to be riveted right here but before we rivet it we're going to hand stitch this piece over here like this of course this will be trimmed off flush out here after but it will sit just like that and go on your belt so now my style of leather craft is a little bit different than some people I pre-drill all my holes for stitching and that is I use a drill press and I actually drill them all out with a little tiny I believe it's a 1 16th bit and that's just I, I've tried different ways I've tried punching the holes one at a time I've tried doing series and that works with some things but largely I would prefer to pre-drill them that gives you lots of room then to stitch by hand you don't need to be force in every stitch through the hole it doesn't need to be a whole struggle you have lots of room there to easily stitch so I find pre-drilling those holes better and when you run on a stitch like this where you have multiple parts sometimes takes you have to struggle with it fight with things for a few stitches until everything gets held in place just so your stitch holes line up everything is drilled to line up but stitching it like this can be a bit of a trick because everything is just kind of flopping all over the place so I'll run you'll struggle with a couple stitches make sure you pull them nice and tight like here now getting this this first one back through it's a bit of a trick there we go that's the toughest one but when we pull this first one into place everything is held pretty good there now it'll take like I said two or three stitches for things to really be held in place as you can see I've got to work this one a bit there we are So I've been thinking quite a bit over the past six months, even out to a year of starting a podcast. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I don't know if many of my followers are podcast type people. Any of you viewers, hit that like button or leave me a comment down below to let me know. But just, it seems like something I'd like to do. I love listening to them so much. And uh, I've just been kind of up in the air on what I would like to do podcast I probably wouldn't do like a vidcast type thing it probably be audio only and it would probably be uh, I don't know where I'd get them up maybe Spotify or or somewhere I'm not sure but what do you guys think of that idea and if I were to do something like that what would you like it to be on it could be kind of open-ended because I do have so many things I cover but just an idea always new ideas rolling but I think it would be fun I just I, I like to talk with you guys and communication is not always done the best through uh, 
through YouTube. People expect higher production values and stuff and less talking. A lot of times when I get to talking on different videos I get comments that tell me to just kind of shut up and get to the point type thing. Stop talking so much and teach us how to sharpen. Which is kind of disrespectful and kind of stings a little bit. <laughs> but I just, I guess I have a, a bit of a desire to talk with you guys, the audience, the ones who I know follow regularly and and like to chat, like to communicate. I'll do a triple knot, or I guess it would be considered a double knot. And then I'll do a single knot. Pull nice and tight. Cut it off, and then I'll melt the ends of those strands later. And that's what it looks like on the front side. Now this side will be really easy to stitch because everything's held in place. If you guys do tend to listen to or watch podcasts, who do you like to watch? I have a few that I like. Uh, really like Jordan Peterson, I like Dennis Prager, I have listened to a lot of Ben Shapiro, uh, I've listened to quite a few uh, apolo apologeticists, apologetics, apologetics teachers, um, different political commentators, a little bit of Dave Rubin, not a whole lot. Uh, there are quite a few out there that I have listened to. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments who you guys listen to, just to give me an idea of what you're listening to. So there's that one, I just sharpened it on the belt sander and it's finished. You see we have a bit of a hybrid design here. Do you like that look? I think it looks awesome. The combination of uh, leather and kydex. Beautiful. Got a nice belt strap. Now we're on to the next piece. Now I showed you guys this knife the other day. This is a huge, pretty well a chopper style knife. You can see it's quite lengthy. No edge on it yet, that's why I'm not handling it all uh, careful. But we have white liners here, we have some bird's eye birch scales, just gorgeous. We also have one to match right here. Now some of you guys might have seen me make this set before, but what we have is a small companion, this large chopper here, all smeary now, and we have a design here. stitched this up in bed last night. <laughs> so uh, this knife will mount in the sheath like so and you can wear this by itself with the dangler here but then this can also attach to the front of it right here. That's just how I've engineered the sheath. Everything is the size that allows it to do that. So this strap will go through here this strap will go through this loop on the back here and they will both snap on the back. Now if I think about it, I'll throw this down in the description. I bought these a little while ago. Now I made this little stand for it, just drilled some holes. But these are all half spheres, all curves like that and they are, they make cutting off straps so quick and easy. So you just pick the size you want and of course you can just end cut to a nice clean radius. Now they don't come very refined. I think it's like an overseas Asian product. So they come really rough, but they are pretty nicely even spheres. They're punched out pretty well. I did have to, they come super dull. So I sharpen them up, clean them, put sort of that polish you can see on there. So they're real slick now at cutting, cutting the leather. Now check that out. That would be tiresome and annoying 
to get a clean cut like that and I know it because I did it for for a few years but now these things will just wrap around nice and clean and snap and when you're not wearing the companion with it then you just have nice clean looking setup like this I and mean, if you do want to you can unsnap install the small one and resnap Oh, that's nice. Bam! There it is. Dangler on. Man, this was a big project. These are really big projects. But here is how it would wear. As you can see, that would never move or go anywhere. Dangles at the hip like that. Let me know what you think. I think this is just, just lovely. This whole thing will get a bath of oil, so it'll darken a little closer to this color. Uh, it'll just look beautiful, but I really like these. Mm. So there it is, guys. The last, very last customs of the year. Sharpened, put in. All I have to do is go in, oil them, package them up print those shipping labels and send them off to you guys <sighs> a lot of orders this year which is wonderful I thank you guys so much for supporting me hope you've been enjoying the content over the last little bit now that my customs are out of the way I should have time for a little bit more play time uh, and we're going to be working on some build series some batches to get up on the site or to give you guys the opportunity to buy again by the numbered models as they're being made um, I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do that yet. I might just launch them on the site. So maybe you'll just watch me build a set of say like 10 identicals and then uh, I'll, in I'll tell you exactly when they'll launch on the site and then it will be first come first serve whoever wants to grab them off the site. Think of doing a run of taco mortars and maybe a run of uh, baked apples. We'll see. It's still in the works. I'm still deciding. But thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one.